Good late morning folks and family. It's 11.59, actually almost 12 noon. 11.59 a.m., almost 12 noon. And this is Raymond X, the prophet, coming from his apartment bedroom. And the workers are going to come here and work on this roof for day number three. So I'm going to try to see if I can get off a couple more videos today before I call it a day. Uh, okay, here we are. This is Raymond X, the prophet, once again. And it's 11.59 a.m. on June 19th. 2020 on a Friday. Hope you're all having a great day today. Yes, we got a lot of stuff going on in the world and it's zip, zip, zam, zoom. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. This word for today, part two, for April 2nd, 2020. This is the word for today, part two, April 2nd, 2020. Let's go ahead and start with the first journal entry. And the first journal entry is April 1st, 2020 at 8.35 p.m. And this is the word I received from the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. I am a jealous God. In my fury, I will rebuke all those, or actually, I will rebuke those who come against me. I'm a jealous God. In my fury, I will rebuke those who come against me. This is Jehovah speaking. And we'll give you the Bible books and verses that go along with that each individually. Starting with Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Exodus chapter 34, verse 14. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 28. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 23 through 24. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 16. Uh, Joshua chapter 24, verse 19. Psalm 78, verse 58. Psalm 79, verse 5. The book of Isaiah chapter 27, verse 4. Isaiah 59, verse 18. Isaiah 63, verse 3. And finally, Isaiah chapter 66. Verses 15 through 17. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 5. Exodus 20 and 5. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Exodus chapter 34, verse 14. Exodus 34 and 14. For you shall worship no other God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 28. Leviticus 26 and 28. And then I will also walk contrary to you in fury, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. Deuteronomy 4. 23 and 24. Take heed to yourselves that you forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and made for yourselves a carnal image in the form of anything which the Lord your God has forbidden you. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 9. Deuteronomy 5 and 9. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. To the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 15. Deuteronomy 6 and 15. For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you and destroy you from the face of the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 16. Deuteronomy 32 and 16. They provoked him to jealousy with foreign gods. With abominations, they provoked him to anger. Joshua chapter 24, verse 19. Joshua 24 and 19. But Joshua said to the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions, nor your sins. Psalm 78, verse 58. Psalm 78 and 58. For they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved into jealousy with their carved images. Psalm 79, verse 5. Psalm 79 and 5. How long, Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Isaiah, chapter 27, verse 4. Isaiah 27 and 4. Fear is not in me, who has set briars and thorns against me in battle. I would go through them. I would burn them together. Isaiah 59, verse 18. 
Isaiah chapter 59, verse 18. According to their deeds, according the he will repay, for he to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, the coastlands he will fully repay. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 3. Isaiah 63 and 3. I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. For I have trodden them in my anger, and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is spilled, sprinkled upon my garments, and I have stained all my robes. Isaiah chapter 66, verses 15 through 17. Isaiah 66, 15 through 17. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword the Lord will judge all flesh, and the slain of the Lord will, shall be many. Those who sanctify themselves and purify themselves to go to the gardens after an idol in the mist, eating swine's flesh and abomination, and the mouse shall be consumed together, says the Lord. Okay, folks and family, the next general entry is going to be a little bit lengthy, so just kind of hang in there with me. This is April 1st, 2020, at 8.36 p.m., and I'm going to tell you who God is. He is all these things listed here. He is a God of love. He is a God of judgment. He is a God of jealousy. He is a God of peace. He is a God of war. He is a God of mercy. And He is a God of everything. Once again, He is a God of love. He is a God of judgment. He is a God of jealousy. He is a God of peace. He is a God of war. He is a God of mercy, and He is a God of everything. And it's found in these books of the Bible here, starting with Exodus chapter 15, verses 3 through 5, Exodus chapter 34, verse 14, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 31, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 15, Psalm 103, verses 8 through 17, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13, Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 11, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, Joel chapter 2, verse 11, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17, John 3, 16 and 18, John chapter, uh, I'm sorry, Romans chapter 15, verse 33, getting a little ahead of myself here, Romans chapter 16, verse 20, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. And then we got uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 7 and 9. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 10. Colossians chapter 1, verses 16 through 20. I'm sorry about that, guy. I've got, I got the roof here being worked on. This is number day three of the roof. We're supposed to get this thing complete today. Anyway, never mind about that. Let's go to Revelation, and finally Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, to wrap this up. Okay, folks, I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's go to Exodus chapter 15, verses 3 through 5. Exodus chapter 15, verses 3 through 5. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has cast into the sea. His chosen captains are also drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sink to the bottom like a stone. Exodus chapter 34, verse 14. Exodus 34 and 14. For you shall work no other God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Leviticus 26 and 1. You shall not make idols for yourselves, neither a card image nor a sacred pillar shall you rear up for yourselves, nor shall you set up an engraved stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 31. Deuteronomy 4 and 31. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not forsake you, nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers, which he swore to them. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 15. Deuteronomy 6 and 15. For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you and destroy you from the face of the earth. Psalm 103, 
verses 8 through 17. Psalm 103, verses 8 through 17. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and bounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone. And his place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. On those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13. Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. He shall stir up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout aloud. He shall prevail against his enemies. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 11. Jeremiah 20 and 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, awesome one. Therefore my persecutions, per, therefore my prosecutors, Therefore my persecutors will stumble and will not prevail. They will greatly be greatly ashamed, for they will not prosper. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Joel chapter 2 verse 11 Joel 2 verse 11 The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. Zephaniah 3 and 17. The Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Amen. The Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 16 and 18. John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John three eighteen, who believes He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Romans chapter 15 verse 33 Romans 15 and 33 Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Romans chapter 16 verse 20 Romans 16 and 20 And the God of peace will crush Satan under your, for, under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 once again, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Philippians chapter 4, verses 7 and 9. Philippians 4 and 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 and 9. The things that you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 10. Ephesians 2, 4 through 10. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespass, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Then in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace, and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. Colossians chapter 1 verses 16 through 20 
Colossians 1, 16-20. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Revelation 4 and 11. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Okay, the next journal entry I have for you, April 1st, 2020, 8.39 p.m. This is the word I received. He gave himself up willingly for us so that we could have life and more abundantly. Once again, he gave himself up willingly for us so that we could have life and more abundantly. And it's found in these books of the Bible, starting with John chapter 10, verses 10 through 18, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, the book of Titus chapter 2, verse 14, 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, the Gospel of John chapter 10, verses 10 through 18, John 10, 10 through 18, the thief does not come to steal. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But a hireling, he who is not of the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay, my not, lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them I also must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore, my Father loves me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down to myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Galatians 2 and 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Ephesians 5 and 25. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Titus chapter 2, verse 14. Titus 2 and 14. Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed, and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. 1 John 3 and 16. By this we know love because he has for, for, uh, by this we know love because he laid down his life for us, and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Amen. Okay folks, the Spotify worship song I have for you. It's a song called Let You Down by NF. That's the name of the group, NF. I don't know why they call it that. It's the name NF with Let You Down. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Okay, the next journal entry I have for you is April 1st, 2020 at 8.41 p.m. This is the word I received. He dwells in the secret place, the Almighty God. He dwells in the secret place, the Almighty God. This is found in Psalm 91, verse 1. Psalm 91 and 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. An external entry, April 1st, 2020, 8.42 p.m. This is the word I received. I will punish them all for their iniquity, said the Lord of hosts. I will punish them all for their iniquity, said the Lord of hosts. 
and it's found in these books of the Bible, starting with Leviticus chapter 26, verses 18 and 24, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 26, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 12, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 21, Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 11, Amos chapter 3, verse 2, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 25, Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 22, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 21, Jeremiah chapter 21, verse 14, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 34, Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 21, and finally, Jeremiah chapter 27, verse 1. Leviticus chapter 26, verses 18 and 24. Leviticus 26, verse 18. And after all this, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Leviticus 26, verse 24. Then I will also walk contrary to you, and I will punish you yet seven times for your sins. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 26. Proverbs 17 and 26. Also the punishment of righteous is not good, nor to strike princes for their uprightness. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 12. Isaiah 10 and 12. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Lord has performed all his work on Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, that he will say, I will punish the fruit of the arrogant heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his haughty looks. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. Isaiah 13 and 11. I will punish the world for its evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. I will halt the arrogance of the proud, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 21. Isaiah 24 and 21. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will punish on high the hosts of the exalted ones, and on the earth the kings of the earth. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 21. Isaiah 26 and 21, For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for iniquity. The earth will also disclose her blood and will no more cover her slain. Okay, folks, I made a few mistakes here, but I'm correcting it. So I got the correct ones. Okay, Isaiah chapter 27, verse 1. Isaiah 27 and 1, And that day the Lord, will, with his severe sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, that twisted servant, and he will slay that reptile that is in the sea. Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 11. Jeremiah 36 and 11. When Micaiah, the son of Jeremiah, the son of Shaphan, heard all the words of the Lord from the book. Amos chapter 3, verse 2. Amos 3 and 2. You only have, all, you only have I known all of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Okay, back to Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 25. Jeremiah 9 and 25. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will punish all who are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 22. Jeremiah 11 and 22. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them the young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 21. Jeremiah 13 and 21. What will you say when he punishes you? For you have taught them to be chieftains, to be head over you. When not paying seize you like a woman in labor. Jeremiah chapter 21, verse 14. Jeremiah 21 and 14. But I will punish your doing. But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, says the Lord. I will kindle a fire in the forest, and it shall devour all things around it. Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, verse thirty-four. Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, verse thirty-four. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people who say the oracle of the Lord, I will even punish that man and his house. Okay, folks, April 1st, 2020, 8.44 p.m. Journal Entry. Now, this is a warning from me and from my enemies, so listen up very closely. Let the visitation of their iniquity be upon them in their day of trouble. A warning and message to my enemies. 
I've said this once before, and I'm going to say it again. Let the visitation of their iniquity be upon them in their day of trouble, a warning to my enemies, from Raymond X. And this is what I found in this book of the Bible. It's in the book of Psalms, Psalm 94, verse 23. Psalm 94 and 23. He has brought on them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. The Lord our God shall cut them off. Okay, the final journal entry. April 1st, 2020 at 8.45 p.m. I punish all I love. This is God speaking. I punish all I love. God. And this is the books of the Bible I'm going to go over with you. Starting with Leviticus chapter 26, verses 18 and 24. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 11. Once again, the book of Amos chapter 3, verse 2. And then we move down to Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. And finally, we'll wrap it up with Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. Leviticus chapter 26, verses 18 and 24. Leviticus 26 and 18 again. And after all this, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Once again, Leviticus 26 and 24. Then I will also walk contrary to you, and I will punish you yet seven times for your sins. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 11 again. Isaiah 13 and 11. I will punish the world for his evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. I will halt the arrogance of the proud, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Once again, Amos 3 and 2. Amos 3 and 2. You only have no, you only have I known all, all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you all for all your iniquities. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. Zephaniah 1 verse 8. And it shall be in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed with foreign apparel. Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. Revelation 3 and 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Okay, folks and family, to wrap this up, I have the last Spotify song for you. It's a song called God Only Knows. God Only Knows by this group called For King and Country. For King and Country, God Only Knows. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below. And I'll also, once again, post the link to the video link for YouTube users. Okay, folks and family, that's the Word for Today, Part 2, April 2nd, 2020. Once again, the Word for Today, Part 2, April 2nd, 2020. It's 1.01 p.m. Friday, June 19th, 2020. I want to thank you very much for your 29 minutes of time. Very valuable indeed. God bless you all today. God loves you and so do I. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Very soon. Sooner than you think. So this is your day of salvation, your day of redemption, your day of repentance, and your decision day making. I love you all very much and so does God. Keep safe. Be safe out there. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you all very soon. I love you all very much. Bye bye for now.